But I would put self-confidence of the quarterback actually as number one. Sure. Mm. That would be number one. And, and then going down, because that gives the quarterback the things that Dan just talked about. And when you look at this young man, he already possesses this. He makes the field balanced. 11 on 11 football because his ability to run. So defensively now, you're already nervous because you're going, you know what? We're 11 on 11 football because this guy can run. So that already, you're a little hesitant already calling defenses because you're worried about the guy running so much. What he needs to do is take the next step like Jalen Hurst, right? We watched Jalen Hurst progress from one year to last year. Number one receiver helped, obviously. Play calling is critical as well. But this young man is headed in the right direction. Because he has talent. He has arm strength. He has all that. But now you surround him with some guys he can trust, a number one receiver or tight end, where he feels, you know what? On the line of scrimmage, I see single safety. I don't care what the call is. I'm pulling my face mask, and I know I got a go route. I'm right. going to throw it to you, I'm man. I'm throwing it to my guy. That's when it really that's when it becomes fun. Dan knows that. He did a lot of too, that. Pull my this face is... mask. I'm throwing a go route. Where's Calvin? <laughs> This is the second year that he's been with the same offensive coordinator for the first time. Like, even in college, he wasn't having that level of, wow. of necessarily coaching consistency with the play caller. So they worked on his footwork last year. This offseason, he's talked about comfort just within the system itself. I mean, it's all setting up for Justin, even aside from the top having a top target. This is, this is about the system in place, the coaches in place, the players in place. Uh, it, it feels the opposite of what we were saying about Justin Fields in year one, which was – Man, there's nothing around him that is going to make this okay. Yeah, just taking it to X's and O's because hearing Coach talk about the quarterback run, think about it in this way. I could put, if I'm Chicago, D.J. Moore on one side of the field, and I could put my other wide receivers, a Darnell Mooney or Cole Komet in, in the other side of the field, and Justin could stand at the line of scrimmage and go, oh, you've got two defenders over to D.J., well, I'm not going to throw it to him. And now, because he's so athletic, they can build a pass concept to the other side of the field for two other good players – and also build a run concept yep. to the other side of the field with Justin Fields as a runner. So when, when we're talking about football being a game of math, you now have a wide receiver that changes the numbers equation, not only for your pass game, but also your run game away from it. And that's something that is very unique to his skill set. That's why I'm way more bullish, I guess, on Justin's potential this season yeah. than maybe some other people because of that impact. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.